Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching our sessions out there. This is Simran Singh and you are all watching this particular live interactive telecast of NCRT on Evidya channel number 8. Besides, we have so many different mediums through which you all can connect with us and you can also participate in our live sessions by raising your queries, your questions, your messages and feedback in the comment section of NCERT official that would be our YouTube channel. Apart from that viewers if you are watching this particular live telecast to television then here is a contact number it is flashing on your screens. So feel free to give us a call at 88004404559 in case of doubts and the specific mail ID for class 8 students is DTH dot class 8 at the rate CIET dot NIC dot IN. So next we have our session of science for another half an hour for all class 8 students and the topic that we are going to discuss today is millets and its benefits. For that we are also joined by our expert through online modality I will be introducing you to her but before that I would like to share an important piece of information with all of you regarding G20 presidency. We are proud of the fact that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in this year. That's 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so manifesting the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. So viewers let's get back to our conversation of science and providing us more insights into today's topic we have with us Ms. Swati Bhedekar ma'am. Namaskar ma'am good afternoon. Namaskar good afternoon. We welcome you uh, she is a director at Vatsalle Foundation from Vadodara Gujarat. So without further ado let's uh, begin the conversation and Swati ma'am we would like to know more from you what are we going to discuss today and what is it all about. Hello students, it's a great pleasure to be with you and in today's science class we are going to discuss something different, uh, something little away from your textbook. Do you know that this year 2023 has been declared as International Year of Millets? A uh, little different than all the other years that we keep hearing, so let's find out why International Year of Millets, what are they and what are their benefits? Millets are our domestic food, food that was being grown here from years together in this very soil. And in order to promote domestic and global demand and to provide nutritional food to the people, Government of India has proposed to United Nations for declaring 2023 as International Year of Millets, which is a local food from India. And India is also leading this movement world over. So we got to know about millets little in detail, right? India also happens to be the largest cultivator of millets. Almost it accounted for up to 80% of the total millets crop grown in the world. Now let's find what is the history of millets in India. What are millets? They are small grain uh, annual warm weather cereals belonging to grass family. They are rain fed hardy grains which have low requirements of water and fertility when compared to other cereals. They are highly tolerant to drought and other extreme weather conditions. So that is how it was possible to grow millets in maximum amount where uh, the agriculture was completely completely depending dependent on yearly rainfall. Millets is a tough crop. 
Mills were grown and consumed in India uh, since ages till 50 years ago. By the time uh, we started eating polished rice and wheat, it almost became our staple food. But both these things have come from outside. Millets are a group of cereal grains that belong to the Posi family, commonly known as the grass family. So they are not very tall in height. Uh, they are grass-like little uh, tiny shrubs. But they, what they give us is something. Let's see what kind of food they give us. See, cultivation of millets is always beneficial for one reason that it is local food from India. Millets require less water than rice and wheat. Nowadays, we are completely dependent on rice and wheat for our food and which requires a heavy amount of water which has to be irrigated. The farmer has to plan for it. Uh, millets is something which is generally uh, whenever you get rains, you sow them and you used to get them. They are very tolerant to heat uh, up to 64 degrees and that's the reason uh, you find millets grown more in warm states like Rajasthan, Haryana, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka. They are also tolerant to drought and flood situations. Uh, the other crops, they are uh, kind of, you know, get uh, perished by the floods. Millets being small shrubs, they don't get perished completely. Uh, the obvious choice of farmers, uh, you know, in this era of climate change would be, you know, growing millets because our natural resources are also getting diminished with little water, with a lot of heat, with the changing climatic conditions, if they, if the farmers switch, switch back to the original food, definitely it is going to help them. Millets are dual purpose crops also. It is cultivated both as food and as fodder thus providing food and livelihood to millions of households and contributing to the economic efficiency of farming. It is almost zero waste farming because once the grains are taken or consumed by humans, whatever is left behind is consumed as fodder by the livestock. Millets contribute to mitigating climate change as it helps reduce the atmospheric carbon pressure. See, so if you grow more millets, there is more likely that we might have little cooler atmosphere it's because it arrests most of the carbon dioxide. Now let's see more benefits of this millet cultivation. There are certain kind of millets which are eaten or consumed more, such as pearl millet, which is commonly known as bajra, sorghum, or commonly known as juwar, and finger millet, which is popularly known as ragi or nacheni, constitutes the largest share in India's total production of millets, which is mainly grown in the states I just mentioned, the warmer states of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka. Of course, millets are grown in other areas too. Millets require less fertilizer and less pesticides, unlike mainstream crops for, for its cultivation. Millets supply superior nutrients and possess excellent climate resilience properties. So if there are erratic climate changes, untimely rains or heat waves, millet crops can survive all of that. So that is why it is more beneficial to a farmer. 
Therefore, promotion of millets could help attain the sustainable development goals. Our country is on the path of development and agriculture is one of the major, major occupations. And if a farmer finds a crop which is suitable, which he can take at lesser cost, gives more yield. But for that, what we will have to do? We have almost, you know, taken millets out of our uh, meals. We need to bring them back. But why will you bring them back? They don't look, they are not polished. Uh, in local languages, it's called mota anaj or bharar anaj. That means something which is not polished, not processed, which is in its raw form. Well, it doesn't look glamorous too. But the food which does not look glamorous has some tremendous qualities for our survival, for our health. Let's take a look at the benefits of eating or consuming millets. Benefits of millets for health. Millet is a good source of protein, fiber, key vitamins and minerals. The potential health benefits of millets include Protecting cardiovascular health. Oh my, my heart attack is something which you are really scared of. And eating of millets arrests that. Preventing the onset of diabetes. It is another disease that is almost, you know, uh, spread across the cross section of our society. As we are progressing, we are succumbing more and more to these lifestyle diseases. So, Mm, millets help us preventing the onset of diabetes too. Helps people achieve and maintain a healthy weight and managing inflammation in the gut. See, our uh, digestive system is something which always has to be in good shape. If we are able to eat and digest our food completely, that is what is going to help us keeping good health. So, let us see, let us find out how millets help this process. Having a high source of micronutrients like fiber and protein along with vitamins and minerals such as calcium, magnesium, millets are named as superfood. Yes, superfood. Um, whatever damage you have done to yourself by eating all that junk food which tastes very nice but is definitely not good for our health, doesn't help you. If you start introducing millets in your meals, all that good health is going to come back. And wait, millets are tasty too. You can almost make every food that is made in maida or corn flour, you can make all that food using millet flour. It is equally tasty and yes, it is very, very healthy. That is why this term superfood. Now particularly, there are few diseases we are really scared of. Millets are rich in dietary fiber both soluble and insoluble. Mm. This insoluble fiber in millet is known as prebiotic, mm. which means it supports good bacteria in your digestive system, which is very much required. You know, you need to include certain type of food uh, like buttermilk mm. or yogurt in your meals to get this prebiotic uh, which increase good bacteria in your system. This type of fiber is also important for adding bulk to your stools, to the waste that you take out of your body, which helps keep your uh, systems, uh, it keeps you free of risk of 
colon cancer. It keeps your system completely clean and helps you get a good, uh, what can call a digestion. It helps you in complete digestion of the food you eat. Now let us look at certain type of uh, millets which are found around us which we can easily uh, find in our grocery shop which are grown in our surrounding area and are of course useful to your body. Foxtail millet is one such millet you can see the picture. Foxtail millet is commonly known as kandi. It is it has high quantity of fiber which almost every millet has. But foxtail millet is rich in calcium which is very important for maintaining your bone health. See when you grow up you really need to consume a lot of calcium. It also contains vitamin D which helps you know retaining uh, or using your body to uh, intake of calcium. Eating foxtail millet in the form of sprouts helps fight diseases such as osteoporosis and can reduce risk of fracture. It actually makes your bones dense. It increases the bone density. Uh, of course Swati ma'am, uh, you are uh, discussing about certain important details. Here, I would like to inform you that we are left by the last five minutes in the conversation. Okay, thank you, sir. Foxtail millet is rich in vitamin 12, B12, which is essential for maintaining a healthy heart, smooth functioning of the nervous system, and in general good health of your skin and your hair. Now, I'm sure all the girls and young boys, young girls and boys have uh, put their attention to this. Another type of millet is finger millet, which is ragi. Ragi is known as finger millet. It's considered of Indian origin and it's a versatile millet with high value of calcium. Almost 344 milligrams are found in every 100 grams of ragi. No other cereal has this much of calcium. Ragi also can give you high protein, Natural weight loss agent, it is natural weight loss agent, prevents your skin from aging and ragi is good for your hair. The next millet is a very popular millet, sorghum or we call it juwar. And the benefits of juwar are, it is gluten free. Wheat and barley based foods contain a certain amount of uh, gluten. And uh, it has high glycemic index. So, all the diabetic patients are advised not to eat, not to eat wheat and barley-based food. They are advised to eat jowar roti because it is gluten. It is rich in fiber, high protein content of iron, good for bone health, jowar benefits for hair, skin, etc., etc. And it is packed with vitamins, minerals, and other micronutrients. The other millet, which is popularly eaten in Rajasthan and Gujarat, is pearl millet, which is called bajra. It is good diabetic diet. Pearl millets contain carbohydrates that are digested slowly and maintain a stable glucose uh, index for a long period. So it helps all the diabetics. And it is rich source of iron, zinc, magnesium, copper, potassium and phosphorus. A complete package of good health. Remember to consume it. You can almost see here, uh, these are these types of billets. Let us uh, find Swati out the Ma'am, uh, ma you are discussing all about billets, certain important ashram, elements related, related to the topic. Boxtail but ma'am, uh, due to paucity of time, I'll have to request you to conclude your words. Half a minute. Uh, Kora millet, little millet, and you can make all that tasty food you always need to consume. All I would say before I end this session, Bajre ki roti or dood ka katora, Motiyo jaisi jwal 
कि चंदा जैसी रोटी लहसुन के चटनी के साथ हर दिन लगे प्यारा याद करो क्या खाते थे पोषण कहाँ से पाते थे भूल गए तो भूल गए हमारी विरासत को तुम भूल गए वो खाना पोषण देता था वजन बढ़ना बंद हो जाता था बीमारियों को दूर रखता था आप उस भोजन को भूल गए भूल गए भाई भूल गए तो अपनी अच्छी आदतों को भूल गए मोहक विज्ञापन लाल पीले पैकेट उस पर मोहित हो गए गलत खाने से स्वास्थ्य का त्याग किया बीमारियों को न्योता दिए अब त्योहार है भाई त्योहार है यह स्वास्थ्य का पर्व है भूले हुए व्यंजन के यह घर व्यापसी का त्योहार है मिलेट्स का पर्व है स्वास्थ्य का पर्व है बिल्कुल मैम मैम बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण जानकारियाँ आज हमारे दर्शकों के साथ साझा की हैं एंड व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल वे टू कंक्लूड द सेशन थैंक यू सो मच Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with NCERT for this particular live interactive session of science. So before wrapping up the program, an important piece of information regarding the availability of NCERT textbooks. So viewers, NCERT textbooks for the academic year 2023 to 2024 are available all across the country. The textbooks may be purchased directly from NCERT sales counters that are located in New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata, and Guwahati. Also, uh, you may purchase these books directly from the sales counters as they are functional on all the weekdays, including gazetted holidays, Saturdays, Sundays, and the timings would be 9:30 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. in the evenings. So, you may also place an order online for the books through our website that's flashing on the screens. That is ncrtbooks.ncrt.gov.in. and you'll be able to receive all the books for which you placed an order at your doorstep with no extra charges if you want to download the soft copy or the pdf version of ncert textbooks then they can be downloaded from e pathshala website diksha ncert and mobile application in order to know more about the authorized vendors our website link it's right there the website link of ncert is flashing on your screens that is www.ncert.nic.in once again thank you all of you for connecting with us keep watching it with your channels we will be right back in few seconds with another program namaskar <laughs>